being able to tell people, hey, you know, slow down on the drinking, children ought not drink. Um, what new things do you think this organization would bring? Well, first of all, charity um, begins at home, eh? Mm -hmm. And I, I say that because, again, I'm in that position, right, to seriously do something about it. And I do believe once I begin to make that difference, others would see it. Others would also join. Um, people often say things and they never follow through with it. And every now and then they would ask you, oh, what are you doing, what are you doing? But if you're really serious about it and you go ahead, you change legislation, um, you set up your committee, and if, and if, if it really means something to you in here, mm -hmm. you, yes. you would make it, you'd make that difference. Yes, I, well, I seriously believe in that and, mm -hmm. and this entire thing because we've had, um, I'd have to say I admire the spirit that's in Efi because oh, I, yes. I believe he was one yes, I think, really yeah. affected. And he has come a long way when you hear his mother and the, the many testimonies they've had over this. You know, to think about it gives me goose, goose pimples, yeah. seriously. But his perseverance to even to the point where he is right now. And I think people like Efi and, and others who have been affected, if they came forward more, maybe we'd be able to do more. You know, I'm, there's the drug unit and there's the um, commission, and because, well, the commission is just established. There is so much I think that we can do, but I think it, it also calls on the community coming forward. And our beautiful new roads, our beautiful, beautiful new roads. I mean, I guess it's ta they're taking the, the bad name for a lot of the stuff that's going on when it's really people who are driving. And they have responsibilities. It, yes, yes, they do. Um, it's people's attitude as well attitude towards everything, attitude to the way you drive your car, the way you cut a driver off on the road, um, the way you actually get behind the wheel of a car knowing that you've had too much to drink. It's your attitude towards, oh, I can do whatever I want, it's my car, I don't need a driver with me. It's the attitude we have towards everything. Can we change those? Do you think we can really change those? Anything is possible. Remember, education, education, and more education. Well, this is true. This is true. And we'd like to um, make sure that our viewers are well, well appraised of the fact that the entire month of November mm -hmm. is being celebrated as Alcohol Awareness Month. And I'm, I'm surprised that it's, I think it's only in the Turks and Caicos that it's being celebrated during the month of November. Um, other places... It's closer to um, that wonderful time youngsters like to drink. It's called prom graduation. Mm. And the thing is, during most of your celebrations, of course, what's the main thing? Certainly not well, the ham or the turkey. Also, <laughs> too, I don't like the word celebrated. I don't like the word celebrated. Um, I like to say awareness, not, okay. not celebrated. Um, Again, the awareness goes with the education, education the society at large. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is, um, from what I remember, I didn't, I didn't see enough support for um, the drug unit. I wish there, there was more from the community, especially as well as the politicians at large. Because the message becomes clearer if the government gets involved. Hmm. And what sort of things do you think the government can do to? Well, they can I mean, do, other they than can that do, bit of they left can do decision. lots of things because, for, well, for, for starters, back to the education. I don't know how many counselors we have right now, for example, in, even in the schools or, or even um, counselors working for government. I remember talking a while back to a man called Dr. Prince, and I remember he was right on cue. I mean, he, uh, he understood all the challenges and everything. But I have yet to hear anything else. Okay. 
the only time I remember anything about alcohol and any the, any department that deals with it is in November. For the short time, there is a couple of um, events. They um, walk at walk at town and walk at different things like this. Mm -hmm. There's never enough about again alcohol awareness. As I say, education. Another thing too that people may not agree with me on, and my thing is, parents would always tell the children not to drink. Yes. It's like telling them not to have sex when they're doing it themselves. Mm -hmm. Okay, parents should be honest with their children. Say to them, "Yes, I drink." Mm -hmm. Parents then, when the child is at the right age, whether it's eleven, twelve, or whatever, whatever time the parent feels is the right time. Mm -hmm. Knowing that your child will take that drink or might take that drink, a parent should start to educate their children on how to drink. Because chances are, when the child has the first drink, it won't stop at that drink. It will have another and another, all in the same night. Mm -hmm. And, of course, get drunk. If a parent teach a child, I've had a, a friend of mine who first explained this to me, because at first I thought, it'd be horrible. You're teaching your kids teaching to drink. Teaching your children to drink. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. Yes. But then when she explained it to me, at dinner time, the entire family is together. And whichever parent, the mother or the father, mm -hmm. right, will actually pour some alcohol or some wine rather into the glass. Mm -hmm. And the child will have it with their meal. So that's no big deal when it's later on. And again, people drink, but not everyone gets drunk. This is true. Tolerance level is so different. And of course, alcohol, it's a, it's a social thing. It certainly is. It certainly is, and that's the thing about it. The fact that um, at every social event, of course, it's not finished. Mm -hmm. It's not really on unless there's some alcohol involved. That's right. Well, we've just come to accept so many, so many things nowadays. It's like it's, like it's the norm. Mm. I know, I know, and we can go on and on and on. I know. But <laughs> I gotta <laughs> cut. I gotta cut right here and say thanks for joining us, um, TCI behind the scenes, and of course, was talking right here with Barbara Karen Delancey about Alcohol Awareness Week Month. And don't forget, it is Alcohol Awareness Month, and drink responsibly. This program has been brought to you in part by Digicel. Expect more, get more, especially when you look forward to the great prices just for this coming Christmas season. That's Digicel.